Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the day and you might ask the day for what? The day for me to bleach my hair at home in quarantine. Am I ready for it? No. Is this a good idea? Probably not, but am I excited? Hell yes! So that's why I look like trash and I will take my hair out of my bun so you guys can see uh, how messy it is because I I did like French braids yesterday, so it's very wild today. I've been wanting to dye my hair and to try new things because I'm bored at home. And I also feel like my hair desperately needs a haircut because it's super long. As you can see, I have like loads of hair and it's super long, so it definitely uh, is a little bit shapeless. Even my bangs, they are too big by now so I definitely need to cut it and I asked you which colors you like the most from the wigs I tried and most of the people said blue, some of the people said like light pink but some very smart people comment like it doesn't really matter if it's pink, green or blue because you need to bleach it first so it's going to be blonde first and one thing about bleach is that it's so fast to start like uh, changing the color of your hair so if you have a lot of hair like mine it's kind of impossible to do it all at once even if you just want like an orange tone so my idea and what I thought about doing today is just bleaching half of it I saw some inspo pics that I really liked I'm going to pop them on the screen and basically it's just like more on the half part of your hair that you have grown and then when you do like a ponytail or or enough to you can clearly see like the blonde and the black so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to bleach it like from here down and I'm going to enjoy that, if I like it I'm going to enjoy it for some time and then when I feel like I'm ready I'm going to bleach the top part and maybe go for a pastel look I'm going to adapt to how my hair reacts to the bleaching to see if I need to do like a caramel blonde or if I can go more like platinum and I even really like this shade which is with a little bit of blue I'm excited, I'm talking a lot because I'm very excited so I'm going to start by dividing my hair and then I'm actually going to call my mom to help me because um, yeah, it's a lot of hair for me to do on my own So, my hair is divided already and I look a little bit weird but basically um, this top part here that I did like a braid and then a bun and then this part here and on the back I did another section and I just wrapped it around the other buns I ordered this big developer here which is a 30 volume developer then I have like the bleaching powder exactly the same that I use for my boyfriend and then I have a toner here which is like a um, platinum ash pearl blonde and then I have some pigments here I have like blue and pink in case I want to mix a little bit after so let's let's start with the bleaching first and then we'll see how it goes I'm going to apply it first like one inch below the roots and I'm going to leave it for about 40 minutes and then apply it to the roots and leave it another like 10 minutes because the roots always lighten up first so we decided to wrap the small portions of hair in foil just to warm the hair and get the bleach to work faster we left the roots for the end because usually it lightens up much faster than the rest of the hair so here's what we have after the first bleach so I washed it and here's how it looks so yeah I think it looks much more orange on camera because I get my uh, camera saturation a little bit high because I like the colors to pop more um, but here is not as orange but definitely it would look better if I went with bleach again at the end of the hair but the thing is I ran out of bleach I just hope that the toner really works on this tone and to tone this I'm going to be using like a blonde hair dye and this is called um, Platinum Ash Pearl Blonde so this is what I'm going to use I'm going to mix it with a developer and also I'm going to use a little bit of blue pigment and probably any hairdresser will be like super scared when the hair turns blue or green but I personally like it either way I'm going to try it and let's see how it goes So 
guys i came outside i'm sorry it's super bright um but yeah i left it for like 40 minutes and i don't know how this is going to go probably it's going to look blue or greenish but i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna wash it off now okay guys are you ready to see like if i stand this way with my hair down you can't see anything but the party is on the back let me show you so this is what we have on the back on camera it looks like very orange here and very blue here in natural lighting because my camera has a saturation thing that i added so on the natural eye like me just seeing myself in the mirror is not this bad it's more like this that you're seeing it doesn't look like this orange but the thing is this part was the part that i would bleach twice if i had uh, more bleach but i ran out of bleach so what i'm going to do is basically when my roots grow back i will do the touch up on the roots and then also put bleach here like from here down probably and also something fun that i can do now is just to dye this part different colors you know i can do it like pink and blue i realized that this is very cool to play with different hairstyles maybe just like this and just show a little bit or like updos is the thing that I want to do the most like two ponytails that look so cute like this and even a bun so yeah I'm gonna cut and I'm going to cut a lot so probably something like this and I'm gonna show you how I cut at home too in case you guys uh, need some help on that let's go okay guys so I'm gonna start with the bangs which is the easiest for me still getting used to see little pop of blonde um, and all these bangs as you can see I straighten them and yeah if I just wear them like this I can see I shop it like square like this but then I just put the scissors vertically to remove volume but let me just really and see if the yeah this is not enough I need to add more and I miss this bit I swear to god my face must be like the ugliest thing when I'm cutting the bangs Yeah, I think this, this is better Okay, now don't forget to remove some volume Cutting vertically Especially on bangs, I don't like them with a lot of volume But I do this to my entire hair And just keep doing this, I'm going to fast forward now I'm happy with them now so yeah I'm gonna take this off now because now we are going to cut the rest of the hair okay so I'm just dividing it and leaving just the bottom part I'm going to cut it here and bye bye hair no going back now it's too long so now that I cut it I'm just going to do the vertical cuts and my floor is going to be a mess now another piece and do the same thing over and over to this bottom layer that we have here okay guys so this part is done and I will just bring it to the back while I take some more hair so what you can do also is to bring just a tiny piece from what we cut it first to see like the length but this layer you're going to cut it even above this one to create like some layers otherwise it's going to be completely squared perfect just see the difference Ta -da! okay i'm gonna cut this side okay guys so before we grab another piece from here i will bring everything to the front and as you can see, there are some of them here which are a little rough. So what you can do is just grab like this vertically where you grab like a mesh of hair from both layers and you'll vertically just adjust. Okay, so now the layers are looking a little better. Bring another piece. I'm just going to leave like the top, top layer here. And since these are like top layers we are working with now, what I'm going to do is grab another piece from the back just to see like the length and now I want to kind of go above it and just vertical cut it a few times until I reach the length see how it matches perfectly? that's what I want to do okay guys it's done 
done. I really love this length because the length is not as overwhelming as before and it was really really long. Just look at all this. I could probably do a wig with this. So that was it guys. Thank you so so much for being so supportive of my weird experiments. I really love uh, doing weird stuff even if that means damaging <laughs> hair but luckily that didn't happen. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the hair. Let me know if you guys like it. Also, now that it's bleached, I'll probably be doing more experiments with it. Probably like new hairstyles and there's probably going to be more hair videos soon. So don't forget to subscribe so you can be up to date to all my content. I'm going to shoot this hair today. So I'll probably have a lot of pictures with this hair on my Instagram. So go follow me there as well and follow my TikTok. Everything is on the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, see you on the next one.